just a short video guys to show you how to include CSS and JS in a view way because in our code if we see that we included everything here um, the way we used to work with HTML and CSS so uh, we have CSS on the top and the JS at the bottom we uh, have this uh, style.css you can see that it's the main CSS that totally do, uh, changes the design here so what I do I don't want it to include from here I just comment it out and I just go into my app.view so app.view have an idea of uh, app where we are including our component which is rendering the content that is inside a hello world component and uh, this all is going through the HTML uh, index.html so it is showing us the uh, the content here on the page properly now for including the CSS what we need to do we need to work in a way that uh, uh, a proper way is we can include the CSS just like this now a thing that I have changed here is that I moved CSS to in source assets and here inside it so this is the same directory where we have our components and next to components we have assets and there we have our style.css so here yeah, we are just saying go into assets and I'll look for the style.css included so as we are including our component here and it's a one page app it's going to load that and we have our style back so if I take this code out it's going to be broken if I paste it here it's going to be uh, fine now this is the CSS we included and how you are going to include your JS globally like you're creating just creating an app uh, and you want to include it uh, any JS file like we have in assets I also have a made.js I created it just to, for, to show you there's nothing it's just like a lot of the work so I'm document already and what do we need to do we need to call it into our main.js so that we can work with it and it's quite simple we need to just call it and it will start working so here we are saying that uh, so first of all you can see that we are have app.view here in the source and we are calling it by this way so in the same folder we have assets so we are calling it here and inside that we have made.js now if I save this you can see that we get an alert so when I refresh you can see that the style is breaking here because it's going to load the alert is happening when the document is getting ready so if you click then it loads so that's the way and if you remove .js it still will work that's uh, you can see the alert still coming so that's the syntax that we can use uh, in view uh, and it still be working so if you don't want to include your styles and CSS like this this is the another approach that you can follow and app in, in the app view as well as in your main.js where you can include your CSS and JS I hope this uh, information is uh, uh, valuable for you uh, do subscribe to the channel and like the video thank you for watching the video goodbye